Hi there! I'm HR Leia Jean. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, ang topic na i-discuss ko ay kung paano ba aayusin ang GCash verification problem na after 7 days ay we're verifying pa din yung status na nakalagay sa verification page. By the end of this video, malalaman natin yung step-by-step -step guide kung paano ito gagawin at kung ilang days ang aantayin para ma-resolve ito. Kung bago ka pa lang sa aking channel at interested ka sa ganitong klaseng video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated ka sa aking latest video. After po natin mag-submit ng application for GCash account verification, dalawa po yung status na pwedeng mag-appear sa ating verification page. It's either makakareceive tayo ng update within 24 hours or makakareceive tayo ng update within 7 days. Pero according sa GCash, ang usual process para ma-fully verified ang account ay aabuti ng around 7 days. Pero sa ibang users, may mga pagkakataon na nagre-request pa ang GCash ng additional documents bago ma-fully verified ang account. If ever na wala namang hiningi sa atin na additional requirements during KYC process at naka verifying pa din yung status ng ating account verification after 7 days, need na po nating mag-follow up para mas mabilis ma-fully verified ang ating GCash account. First, kailangan muna nating i-screenshot yung ating verification status na we're verifying your account since kailangan natin ito sa pag-follow up ng ating verification. Next, mag-login lang tayo sa ating GCash account. Pag nasa GCash account dashboard na tayo, tap lang natin yung profile icon na makikita sa lower right corner ng ating dashboard. Pag nasa profile page na tayo, Drag down lang natin hanggang mahanap ang help icon. Since ang concern natin ay magpa-follow up tayo ng ating verification, under ng popular topics, tap lang natin yung pending GCash account verification. If ever po na hindi nyo ito nakita sa popular topics, tap nyo lang po yung view all articles. At magdadirect ito sa help center page. Then, under Product and Services, tap lang natin yung Your Account. Dito sa Your Account, tap naman natin yung Verify Your Account. Under Verify Your Account, meron naman pong 8 articles. Itap lang po natin yung See All 8 Articles para makita yung complete articles. Then, hanapin lang natin yung article na GCash Account Verification Pending. Dito sa article ng GCash Account Verification Pending, naka-indicate dito na mag ask lang tayo ng assistance if yung verification natin ay tumagal ng 7 days. Ang usual process po kasi para ma-fully verified ang GCash Account ay around 7 days. Sa last paragraph ng article, makikita natin dito yung If your verification goes beyond 7 days, click here to ask for help. Tap lang natin itong hyperlink. Then, magdadirect ito sa Submit a Ticket Form. Naka-auto-fill out na po yung portion ng email address, Gcash Registered Full Name, Country, at Mobile Number. Next, tap na lang natin yung Your Account Type. May 4 choices po na lalabas under Account Type. Piliin lang po natin yung Applicable. Ako po, ang pinili ko ay Regular Account. Next, need nating i-provide yung ID submitted for verification. Lalabas po lahat ng list of valid IDs ng GCash for account verification. Piliin lang po natin kung ano yung ID na ginamit natin for verification. Ang pinili ko lang po ay yung Digital National ID. 
Then, i-provide naman natin yung date of last KYC attempt. Bale, may lalabas po na dalawang choices. Within 7 calendar days at yung beyond 7 calendar days. Since ang ipa-follow up natin ay lagpas na po ng 7 days yung verification, ang pipiliin po natin ay beyond 7 calendar days. Next, sagutin lang natin kung may in-advise ba sa atin na mag-submit ng additional documents. Pipili lang tayo sa yes or no. Pag pinili po natin yung yes, may another question po na need sagutin kung nasubmit na natin yung additional documents. Pipili lang din tayo ulit sa yes or no. Pero since wala naman sa aming hiningi na documents, ang pinili ko lang ay no. Next, itik lang natin yung screenshot of transaction or error prompt. Then, need lang natin isummarize yung ating concern. Ito po yung message na nilagay ko. Hi Gcash, good day. I would like to follow up the status of my account verification. It's already beyond 7 days but my account is still in we're verifying your account status. Thank you for your usual assistance. Para po sa mga gustong makapi yung ganitong message, ilalagay ko po ito sa comment section. After may input yung ating concern, next need naman nating i-attach yung screenshot ng ating verification page na we're verifying your account status. Tap lang natin yung add file or drop files here. Then, magdadirect ito sa ating screenshot images. Tap lang natin yung image na i-attach natin. Antayin lang po natin ma-successfully upload yung file na i-attach natin. Then, itap ang submit. After natin ma-submit yung ating ticket, lalabas po itong confirmation page na nareceive na ng GCash yung ating request. Para naman po ma-check yung status ng ating submitted ticket, sa ating GCash profile, tap lang natin yung help. Then, itap natin yung conversations. Next, itap naman natin yung view more. At makikita na natin dito yung ticket na pinasa natin. Itap lang natin itong arrow left para makita yung response ng GCash. Usually po, makakareceive tayo ng automated response from GCash after mag-submit ng ticket. I-monitor lang po natin itong ticket para if ever na meron silang additional documents na hihingiin, ay mapoprovide agad natin. And please take note na para mas mabilis ma-resolve yung ating concern, huwag po tayong magpasa ng ticket ng paulit-ulit na mayroong same concern. If ang response ng GCash ay mag-antay ng 24 hours, pero after 24 hours ay wala tayong nareceive na update, dito sa mismong ticket po tayo mag-follow up. Hopefully, makatulong po yung video na ito para po sa mga nagko-concern kung paano mag-follow up ng verification status na lagpas na ng 7 days. For more tutorial videos na gaya ng mga nasa screen, you can visit my YouTube channel to watch this video. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Kung meron kayong questions or clarifications, just comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Para naman sa mga mas detailed na questions or concerns, you can reach me sa aking Facebook page at huwag pong kalimutang mag-like at i-follow yung aking page.